So you're going on a plane and you want to know what to take for noise cancelling. Should you do the $250 AirPods Pro or the $550 AirPods Max? Well, here's the TLDR right at the top. Just go with the AirPods Pro 2. If you get the second generation, the noise cancelling is excellent. So small and portable on a plane ride. And then there's some caveats about the AirPods Max. So let's get into it. So my wife and I recently went to Las Vegas. We went from Orlando all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about a five hour plane ride there and about four hours back. Use noise cancelling the entire time. We did some shared audio, watch movies, listen to podcasts. And I was trying to be prepared. I wanted to know which to bring. So I sent this out on Twitter asking which do people recommend. And it was pretty split. A lot of people said AirPods Pro 2 are great. Some people said AirPods Max is the only way to go. I even tried the wild strategy someone recommended of an AirPods Pro inside an AirPods Max. So here's what I found. The AirPods Max, they sound great. They do really well with noise canceling. The battery life is better than the AirPods Pro 2 just because of the size. But they're so cumbersome to bring on the plane. I mean, they fold, but like, that's it. They don't really fold any smaller. They're kind of awkward to put in a bag with the little, you know, case that comes with it. I don't even know how it turns. Anyway, I did find the AirPods Max with noise cancellation turned on on the plane. It did a great job of cutting out all the mid and high frequencies. So on the plane, you get a lot of that air conditioner sound, all the vents up and down the rows. It does a good job of cutting out those high frequencies. But I did hear the low rumble of the engines more in the AirPods Max than I did in the AirPods Pro 2. I imagine that's because of the seal. Well, the AirPods Max is really nice for trying to EQ the sound while it's inside your cup and making it sound the best it can. Because it doesn't have as much of a seal on your ear canal as the AirPods Pro 2, it didn't cut out that low rumble. Now, if you do both AirPods Pro in your ears, playing audio through there and these on top, yes, you get a pretty good noise canceling experience, but I just didn't find these were worth it. And because they were big and cumbersome, I didn't use them at all on the plane ride home. Now, when it comes to the AirPods Pro 2, me and my wife were actually using them and they do a great job of cutting out all the low frequencies. So you don't hear much of the rumble of the engines and things like that, but you do hear a little more of the air conditioning whining, that high pitch sound through the AirPods Pro 2 than you do the AirPods Max. But it's still pretty low volume. And if you're listening to music, podcasts, or movies, it really does a great job of canceling it out. When it comes to traveling and choosing the size of AirPods Pro versus AirPods Max, the AirPods Pro are just so much more convenient. And when it comes to battery life, I fully charged my AirPods Pro 2 before I left and I had plenty of battery for the entire plane ride. I never heard the little doot 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 sound from my AirPods. Didn't have to worry about batteries running out even in that five hour flight. And I used them the entire time. Also, side note, we flew Frontier, which is a low cost airline, you know, no frills. You have to pay for everything from talking to someone for checking your bag in all the way to choosing your seat. And the seats are like bare, bare minimum. But it is the smallest tray table I have ever seen. And I brought my big iPad Pro for watching a movie. It was pretty challenging to balance that on that tiny little tray table. But we were able to do it. Couldn't really angle it back very far because the seat was in the way. But it did eventually fit. We both got to watch a movie doing shared audio with our AirPods Pro 2. And it was a pretty great experience. But if you're flying Frontier, I would recommend maybe an iPad mini or just use your iPhone for watching something because that tray table it is just so tiny. My wife also started eating an apple while we were testing all the AirPods Max and Pros. I thought that was pretty apropos. Now, if I was going on an international flight that might be 8, 9, 10 hours or more, the AirPods Max will probably last the entire time with the battery, which I wouldn't be able to say about the AirPods Pro 2. You'll probably have to put them in the case for a little while, charge it, and then use it again. So if you're on a really long flight, that's the one time the AirPods Max might beat out the AirPods Pro 2. But for me, if I'm traveling anywhere domestically, five, six hour flight or less, I'm taking the AirPods Pro 2. The battery life is great, the noise canceling is excellent on the plane, and you really just cannot beat this portability. So which should you use on a plane for noise canceling? AirPods Pro 2 or AirPods Max? 100% I would say AirPods Pro 2 are the way to go. And if you have neither, you're talking about less than half the price for AirPods Pro 2 as opposed to AirPods Max. And I use these all the time. I use them in the grocery store. I use them in the house, just listening to stuff outside, going for a walk. You really just can't beat this combination. So let me know what you think. What do you take on an airplane or what is the best noise canceling that you have found that's also portable and would work on something like Frontier Airlines? Let me know in the comments. And of course, like this video and subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. Lots of videos up. We compared Apple Maps versus Google Maps in the car. That was a fun video. Plus you can check out my Apple Watch Ultra long-term review and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.